I rightfully talk a lot of shit about the right wing in this country. But particularly this year, I haven't really talked negatively much about the left other than to say that I wish Biden was more competent. Part of why I haven't criticized the left very much is because the route they seem to be going is the only route that was making any sort of progress. But I've been watching it seriously backfire. And it's backfiring more and more as time goes on. I'm seeing how angry it makes so many people. I'm seeing it turn away more people than it gains. We should really be focusing on class. But here in the United States, the left seems to focus so much on racial, sexual, and gender demographics as if it will just somehow trickle down to the lower class who really need it. Personally, I think if we significantly help the lower class, it will trickle up to racial, sexual, and gender demographics. I do think we need to change a lot of attitudes in our society. We do need to view our history accurately without religious nationalism mixed in with it. We do need to stop viewing sexuality and gender so, I don't know, puritanically. But with the road that so many people on the left and even Democrats seem to be taking over this past, you know, few years, I see a huge wall in front of us as far as being able to reach the people who are clinging on to their traditions. We have a long way to go, but we can't push it too quickly. Honestly, I think we've reached a point where we can't really push it any further at this time. We need to give society a chance to accept what has already been put in front of them. You know, to accept the changes that have already been made. You know, let it sink in for a little while. And honestly, it's unreasonable to push some of these messages in their current form. You don't stop racism, sexism, homophobia, and xenophobia with prejudice towards the largest demographic in the United States. That doesn't help anything. Prejudices typically don't cancel each other out. That's not how it works. And yeah, censorship does stop certain mindsets from spreading as quickly. You know, and to the people that aren't stubborn and will just be like, oh, well, I think I'll just believe in the mainstream message now. You know, for those people, yeah, it, it stops that kind of message from spreading to those people. But to those who aren't satisfied with that, who want to look further into the things that they're curious about or the things that they're questioning or the things they're seeing banned everywhere, then this kind of censorship has the effect of radicalizing a certain percentage of people because, I mean, the only places they can get this information now or this type of viewpoint is from places that are populated with extremists. And I understand that it seems impossible to gain any ground when arguing with people who have tradition, religion, and the history of human survival on their side. You know, those people don't see the value in trying to live outside of those things. So they dismiss anything that doesn't fit within them. We are in a unique segment of human history, where we are no longer bound by the harsh and cruel realities of nature. In addition to modern technology, the civilization we are a part of allows us the amazing abilities to have lifestyles, interests, hobbies, and even values that were impossible not that long ago. I think that's quite valuable. But I don't know how we can prove its value to those who think it's anti-American or communist or is sinful or is degenerate behavior or it hurts families. When they're convinced that it causes harm, we have a long road ahead of us in showing them that it does not cause harm. But this cannot be forced. Making people afraid of saying anything against it is a horrible, horrible method. I mean, if we get to a point where, for instance, if we find out that someone is LGBT, then we have to let them say anything they want, no matter how outrageous. We just agree with them out of fear of losing our jobs. Yeah, if we get to that point, that's, that's just awful. Now, we're not there right now, but that's the direction we seem to be going. Yeah, we're certainly not going to make any friends that way, just saying. 